Something I learned about Indonesia is that Indonesia loves sweet potatoes. And I know you guys make you guys make sweet potato kolak and sweet potato stuff. But I want to make a sweet potato pie. Classic English recipe. So it's it pretty similar to a kolak or a sweet potato cake. And so I'm going to start by showing these potatoes. These are Ibu's potatoes. I'm going to cut the butts off of these potatoes. These sweet potatoes don't have that much skin. So I can pretty much just do that. I'll clean up the potatoes a little bit. They're they're pretty nice potatoes. Uh, I made some other pies, a couple pie recipes, a uh, shepherd savory shepherd veg vegetarian pie. And I made a uh, apple master nanas pie. That was really good. They're both really good. I mean, like. I'm getting good at pies. I really like fruit, but I also like pies, sugar and fruit, savory pies, flaky cry pie crust, pie crust. So I'm gonna make this sweet potato pie. So. The idea of the sweet potato pie, nothing special. I'll make a simple kolak like pie, maybe put a little bit of vanilla and cinnamon, not too much. So I think I want to cut these potatoes. Maybe I won't mush the potatoes. I think maybe not cubes is the best. I think maybe I can do some uh, some wedges. Make a wedge pie. Uh, circular wedge. Circular wedge pie. So, I don't want them to be too thick, really. If they're too thick, uh, they're too thick, then they won't smush right. They won't be really be like pie. Be like potato wedges so the first thing first thing is cut cut my potatoes so I guess I might need to I might need to mash these potatoes actually probably need to mash the potatoes if I want to mix it with anything I want to mix it with uh, susu or and susu and sugar. But uh, yes, I don't really need to either, though. I don't even really need flavor with the sweet potatoes. You could probably just make a pie that's only sweet potatoes. Uh, maybe I'll just sprinkle some layers of sugar. And it could be really good. I'm trying to make I'm trying to make a special pie. Special YouTube pie. Special pie for YouTube, bringing the sweet potato pie all the way to Indonesia. It is a lot of sweet potato, probably enough for a pie. That's the first thing I should make the crust. That's okay. 
Uh, I guess what I could do is I could start baking the potatoes. Baking or steaming the potatoes. That's probably a good idea. And then I don't have to make a wedge pie. I need to do something with these potatoes anyway. Well, I make the crust. And crust doesn't take that long, but I don't really need the potatoes sitting around. I don't really want to put the potatoes in the fridge. I'll probably cook the potatoes, bake them, or steam them. I'm going to make some flaky, no butter, minyak pie crust because butter is even more expensive than minyak. And nobody really needs butter. Okay. So. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to put in some flour. I made it with this flour last time. Every pie crust needs flour. I'm freezing some water already. Get some ice water. rest of this flour. I'm not rich yo. I gotta use up my flour. Support this channel. I need the dough bro. Right. I got some some dough. I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough. Maybe I can't do that much. Maybe I'll do like a classic pie where you don't have a top, and your pie is all showing, and man, I really don't know. I think this won't be enough dough. Man, I want to try and find some other flour. I I found some more flour. Yeah, I probably don't need. This is a new bag. I probably don't need too much because I think I don't want. I don't want a covered sweet potato pie. Anyway, usually sweet potato pies are open, open top, so. Well, I still want a good amount. Maybe a little bit more. Wasn't last enough last time. I might have covered my pies, but the pies are good uncovered. You don't really need to cover pies. Uh, that's a lot of flour. And probably too much, really. May I'll make some mini pies or something. Alright, so with pie, I'm not making a butter pie. With pie, you want to add. You want to add oil. I'm going to add just a little top of the olive oil. I'm running out, but it lasts a while. We got to save our oil here. We don't, we don't have much money. I'm just using this little bit of oil. And next, I'm going to use the minyak. I put my minyak in this coconut oil. This is minyak. Minyak, the palm, palm oil, classic Indonesia. I'll put this right into my pie. I'm gonna put this into my pie because this is Indonesia. They say it's not food without nasi, but really, it's not food without minyak. So. I'm gonna put some more minyak in. I haven't put the ice water in yet. You don't you don't want it super doughy. It's good flaky. It's good flaky. But you don't want you don't want lots of dry parts. Lots of dry parts isn't good. So this 
This is, I just massage this a little bit more, give it a nice, a nice rub. And it's almost done. I think if I add the water, it'll be good. It's pretty flaky already. Uh, I wanna add one more thing too. Uh, add a little bit of flavor. Guess I could do that now. I just, you gotta, you gotta massage all the, the real dry parts out, get it nice, nice and flaky. It is a basically cry pus like a cookie. It's almost like better if it's like a cookie. It's like a flaky cookie bread sorta. Of. It's not, it's not really bread. It's not really like a cake. More like in between a cookie. So I'm putting a little bit of vanilla, tiny bit of vanilla, and be careful adding that vanilla. The vanilla is really strong, and if you don't, you don't mix it right, you get under it and give it a good whirl. Good tossing in a whirl is going to taste all messed up. You don't want it to taste all messed up. So I'm getting a good whirl. Good toss and whirl. Good toss and whirl, like poly whirl. I'm gonna add just a little bit of this. I know my hands are gonna be extra sticky. Look, they're already sticky, but this is what bakers do. This is what cookers do. This is life, yo. You get, you get your hands a little bit messy. I just put a little bit. You can see, I'm gonna mix that up too. I'm gonna get some nice, some nice susu, manis, some nice susu manis, uh, vanilla crust. Be, I think it'll be good. As we're creative on this channel, we we like to push the issue. We like to try creative things. We don't. We don't like to get stuck in our our food our food prison. We like to we like to burst the bubble and think out of the box and not be in the food prison. So you save you save ingredients. You save money. It's getting a little bit sticky, but that's okay. It's really flaky. I think I've been freezing some water. I think it's time to add that water. I'm cooking, still cooking the sweet potatoes. I'm probably make squish them up or something. Add, add some Indonesian flair. So here it is. Look how flaky it is. It's like cookie. It's pie crust. It's yum, yum, yum. All right. I ice this water in the freezer just for this this little bit you don't need that much it needs to be flaky i'm gonna add it by touch you don't want it to get too mushy so ice water you need to learn it if you're a cook you might not know it ice water will make your dough more crispy whether it's tempura fish and chips, bread, cake, pie. You're making dough, you wanna make it crispy. You gotta add ice water. Ice water, it's science. Ice water, make your stuff crispy. You want it to be more crispy, you gotta add ice water. You gotta do it right. if you want it to be crispy, unless you invent some new crispy technique. And then I'm sure everyone will love your crispy technique. Maybe not today, but maybe tomorrow they'll love your crispy technique. But for today, we're, we're using this ice water to make, to help the dough 
can be more crispy when we cook it. So, I think I'm gonna add the rest. It's a little bit squishy. A little bit squishy, which means it'll be less flaky. It probably would've cooked anyway, but it is a good dough. I can sort of crumble it a little, so it's not that big a deal. Yeah, that definitely feels like some pie dough, some cookie pie dough. But basically, basically a pie's a cookie, and basically a pizza's a cookie. So, cookie is the foundation of bread, and cookies, yeah. Well, there's flatbread too, but cookies, yeah. So, this is some cookie pie dough. They're different things, is a slight variation. I'm making the cookie pie dough, I'm making the pie dough for the sweet potato pie. I'd say the dough's ready. I'm actually, I'm gonna put the dough, just put the dough in the refrigerator and cool it down. I could actually probably put it in the freezer. I think you can freeze the dough too. So, get a turbo cooling. Or probably the pie it won't won't take too long. But I should stop doing this. I'm gonna toss it a little bit. And flaky. I think I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. You could put it in the freezer. So there's a flaky pie dough. Okay, I steamed the sweet potatoes. I ended up steaming them. It's a lot faster. I'm boiling down a handful of palm sugar. I'm gonna brown sugar the palm sugar for the filling. And I'm also gonna put some Kendall Manis and a little bit of ginger. So I don't want too much Kendall Manis. I do want Kendall Manis. That's probably a good amount. And there's a little bit of ginger. Alright, that's a little bit of ginger. So I'm gonna come back with the potatoes. Okay, I got my steamed sweet potatoes. And I got my sugar and Kendall Manis. Uh, boiled down and a little bit of ginger to uh, mix for the filling to mix with my my sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna pour this hot stuff on the potatoes, hot liquid, really carefully. Be careful, be careful, kids. Be careful, girls. Be careful, ladies. Be careful, folks. Be careful. You all be careful. Oh, that's hot sugar. I'll put this in a safe place away, away from me. All right. I'm gonna mash up, mash up my sweet potatoes. We don't have a potato masher. We're not rich in Indonesia, but. In Indonesia, we love the mortar and the pistol. It's practically life by the mortar and the pistol. First thing, Nasi. Second thing, Minyak. Third thing, a pit mortar and pistol. So, we love the mortar and the pistol in Indonesia. I'm just pistoling. Pistoling. Pistoling the sweet potato and the, the palm sugar and Kendall Manis, a little bit of ginger, pistoling the sweet potato, mix mush in this pot, pistol and pot yo, pistoling, I'm just pistoling away, so I'm not pistoling pisong, I'm pistoling sweet potato, English, this is a pistol, this is a pot, that's the mortar. I'm using the pistol in the pot. So, you might not believe it, but in Britain, 
in old England we had the pistol and now the pistol is a scientific equipment so you know a lot of people had the pistol you know mortar and the pistol it was kind of one of the old school but it started like it started as like a rock in a bowl right a rock in a bowl rock in a bowl two pieces of sticks or chopsticks let's go yo okay so there's old school ways of doing things you only have potato musher all right so i got this sweet potato and sugar mixed pretty mixed up i'll make sure it's mixed up and not just mushed up so i'm gonna get a little twirl and mush this is a twirl and mush special twirl and mush technique I'm gonna toss it a little bit. You can't toss it that much. Twirl and mush. Right. So you can get spin it a little bit from the bottom. Get it nice and mushed up. All right. So that's the sweet potato mixture. It's basically sweet potato pie kolak, Indonesian flavors. This is how you do it. Okay. So. The pie crust has been sitting in the refrigerator for probably half an hour, maybe longer. So it's time to build the pie. It's time to build the pie crust. We built this pie crust on flour and oil and susu manis, a little bit of vanilla in cold water and then we put the pie crust in we put the pie crust in the refrigerator to cool down so i think because we want it crispy too helps helps keep things crispy so we can just kind of just put this in here and then so we put it in there. We want it, we want it all even. We want it all even. Mm, excuse me. Then we want to shape our pie crust. We really don't uh, push it down. Push it down so it's got an even bottom. Uh, especially the middle really because we're gonna want we want to start with the middle thinner and we'll push push the sides up a little bit so we're kind of molding it like it's a piece of clay so that's what it looks like right now it's okay to leave it flaky a little bit apart we're baking up high and it'll come together but that way it'll be flaky and crispy and cookie crumble sort of pie is really good that way. So I'll work a little bit to raise the edges. Oh wait, I just remembered. I I didn't put any uh I didn't put any oil or uh flour on the bottom, and so I've been putting flour on the bottom, and it works really good. So I'm actually. I'm just gonna take this off. I'm not dealing with sticky pies and it's not happening. Alright. Well, I still got I still got my powder right here. I still got my flour right here. Oh my y'all. Okay, I put so much powder. There's way too much powder. I usually don't make mistakes like that. So all right, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to shake it around, shake it around, uh, pat it on the sides. All right, I'm going to put the powder right back in. It's fine. It's fine, people. Don't worry. Cooks, cooks make mistakes sometimes. Sometimes they make a little bit of a mess. 
happens happens to the best the best of people. You don't need to cry about it, really. Don't cry over someone. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put this flower. and flowery it's been working I'm not gonna mess around it's been working good all right let me do that over again it's not a big deal really it just it took a little bit more time really not a big deal Let's start with the middle, start molding the middle. Alright, so I think I'm going to start with the middle and then I'm going to start working it up the outer edge. Because it seems like it's harder to get up the middle edge. I did it again. It's looking pretty good. So I need to I need to work the edge. I need to work on this pie. I'm pretty close to finishing working on the pie. You know, the pies pies are like my business. People gotta eat. People gotta see pies being cooked. So, this is the pie business. There's no messing around. People, people gotta eat, people gotta cook. That's the way pies are. So I'm molding the pie around the edges. I kinda, if I'm leaving an open top especially, it's kinda nice to have a thick, crumbly, crusty pie bottom, so. It's good. I don't really mind. And I want to work, work it, work it up the side a little bit. So I need this dough. I need the dough so bad, bro. I need this dough. Working this pie business. I got the dough. Needing. I'm needing the dough. I just need the dough. You can tell I don't have that much money. Look, look at, I need the dough, yo. So, if you need the dough, you need the dough. It's the pie business. You can't, can't be distracted. I'm, I'm in the middle of molding this pie. So, it's getting there. Pretty much getting there and then I can add the rest of the pie crust. So, uh, that looks pretty good. Pretty good pie crust so far. A little bit thick, but it's not that big a deal cook right so next next I need to add some side strips it's a good thing I made a lot of dough uh, I don't have to be super careful if I'm making so much dough and I'm doing it this way I'm making some strips for the side now so you can kind of make a long strip because it's going to squish too 
Yeah, you kind of, you probably do it in two and then like squish it out. So that'll get that the side of the pie nice and filled out. See, look, you see how easy that was? Uh, I got one more strip to make. One more strip to make is kind of big. I'll probably squish it out a little bit more. I'm not really supposed to bend bend the pie dough that much. It'd probably make it less crumbly and crispy. So you don't you don't really want to mold the pie dough too much. You want it to be more like a cookie. So this. This is pretty good. I just kind of plop it on there. So that's almost all around. I think I can work it so it is all around. Yeah, I'm sweating a little bit. I think I can work it so it's all around. You can kind of work it around. All right. Well, that's pretty good. I think I want to even it out a little bit. It doesn't actually go like right to the top. This can go right to the top. I got a lot of dough. I still, I need to add a little more on the, the last side. Add a little more on the last side, fill it out. So that pie, that pie crust looks pretty good. Oh, uh, there's one more part though. We gotta do the middle part. I'm gonna just use a rest. I basically perfectly got, basically perfectly got the pile of that. Finishing touches on the pie crust. So, 
that's the pie crust. Kind of thick, but it's okay. Next, next, I'm gonna put the filling. I'm gonna put the the pie filling. Put the pie filling in the pie. I add a little bit more, a little bit more of the crust, but I think I add a little bit more, but I won't use it. Maybe I'll make a pie crust ball or something, put some sugar or something else on the ball. I don't really know. Or maybe I'll make a stuffed, stuffed something, mini, mini pie ball. So I'm almost near, almost near the finish. Almost near the finish of the sweet potato pie. Sweet potato kolok pie. Pie sweet potato kolok. The Indonesian version of sweet potato pie. So I think it's gonna be good. I think my family's gonna love it. And it's not that easy to cook for Indonesians, especially if you're bule. And but I kinda I kinda understand how to do it, even if I'm making something special, but uh it's just like anyone also like Something you make's not gonna appeal to everyone uh, in all around the world. Only weird people don't like I am crispy or vegetarians, but or vegans. But who's to say they're not weird except themselves? I'm just joking. There's plenty of things. People have different tastes. That's all I'm saying. Alright, so that's basically all the filling. I use all the filling. Basically all the, uh, basically use all the ingredients I put together. I'm not, I'm not wasting anything. Don't waste things. Not good. So, maybe I can put that extra, extra cry pie crust on and some creative way that I didn't really think about just do like a silly pie decoration because cooking cooking is really about being silly it's not it's not life or death you just cooking is about being silly it's not life or death you just do something that tastes good and you eat it and you move on so alhamdulillah You, know, you eat what you want to eat. You eat what you want to eat. You eat what your family likes to eat. You cook what you like to eat. You cook what you make you eat. And you, you eat what you want to eat. That's what I believe. That's what good people believe in. So I'm evening out this this pie a little bit. Alright, so let's save it. Let's save it for later. I'm not gonna just go eating random parts. So what can I do? What can I do with this little bit of pie dough? Maybe I'll just it's crumply, maybe I'll just crumple it on. Like a crumble. Yeah. And I'll just have like a little crumble. It's like a mini crumble. Mini crumble on the top of the pie. Alright, let me show it to you first. This is pie. Pie. Sweet potato. Kolok. Indonesia. Bon appetit. Bon voyage. 
Ciao. Riri. All right, sorry. That's my chef taste English French impression. That's his. That's just how we do it. We got. We finish the pie and we make a chef kiss for all those fancy boule chefs out there to make them proud. So I'm finishing, I'm finishing the, uh, I'm finishing the little crumble I'm making on the top of the pie. I don't have much, but it'll be, it'll be a little crumble. It'll be a little crumble, a little bit crumbly. It'll look like a little speck crumble, kind of classic, classic little crumble. It won't be the most crumbly, but it'll be like a little crumble pie crust top thing. Oh, it isn't beautiful. It is beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'm gonna start cooking the pie sweet potato kolak indonesia all right i'm gonna put the pie in the oven we have this little oven little cosmos oven uh i'm gonna put the pie in at 180 celsius uh i'm gonna put the pie in until it looks good, until the crust looks good. Uh, that's about an hour or an hour and a half. I wanna do it until the top looks good, until the until the pie looks ready. So I'm gonna put the pie in. I'm putting in. Let's let's finish this pie. All right, the pie is going in. It's approaching the oven. I think my family will love the pie. It's making its landing. The pie's going in the oven. The pie, the pie is making in the oven. There's no errors. It's landed in the oven. Watch. Okay, I finished the sweet potato pie. The pie sweet potato kolak. And it looks really good. I think it will taste really good. And it's gotta wait for 20 minutes. <laughs> Maybe a little bit longer before it's served. It's good cold too. If you want to keep it in the refrigerator, it's good hot after 20 and 30 minutes. Let's I'll show you the pie. All right, this is the pie. It looks really good. I'm excited to see what people think about it. Sweet potato pie. Pie sweet potato cholock. Okay, I steamed the sweet potatoes. The pie's going in. It's approaching the oven. I think my family will love the pie. It's making its landing. The pie's going in the oven. The pie, the pie is making in the oven. There's no errors. It's landed in the oven. Watch. Hey, this is the pie. It looks really good. I'm excited to see what people think about it. Sweet potato pie. Pie sweet potato cholock. I I didn't give it to the rest of my family, but my wife ate ate some of the sweet potato pie. So uh it was really good. The the flavors are good. It was all good. Uh the I made I think I made the crust a little bit too thick. It was a little bit doughy still. A lot of people don't like doughy crust. Should be more like a cookie. So I was wrong. You gotta make, you gotta make the dough uh, a little bit thinner. You sort of you don't want it too thin, or get it'll get wet anyway and be a little bit soggy and not good. The the other two pies I made, the Naster apple nanas pie. It was really good. The 
the crust was really good and the same with the vegetarian savory pie so uh yeah i make your pie crust a little bit thinner but the crust is pretty good pretty pretty cookie like pretty crusty pretty flaky uh the filling's really good the cholak flavoring definitely works really good for a for a, a sweet potato pie so I would definitely make it again. I think a lot of Indonesians would like it. So uh, maybe I'll make it again. Uh, we'll see.